Welcome back to The Grind. I'm going to give some more information on this new dungeon feature that's coming to War Dragons very soon. After the stream, I have some footage now of them flying against this new base, and I have a couple answers to several of the questions that many people had. So you can see the layout here. On several islands, there's more than five towers, and they're all in different positions. And some of these towers are going to be considered boss towers, where they'll have more uh, damage, more health, and they won't be able to take more than 15% of their health from one single source or one shot at that time. So for example, things like Death Gaze uh, will not be able to take a full bar of health away from that tower. It'll only take 15% at max. Uh, some of the cool things with this is the new concept and like mechanics of the game. And you can see here, you have a glimpse into the final boss and it's shooting at you and the dragon veers off to go around. So you can see this new look to flying and the new camera angles and there's even new destructible towers. There's one of the boss towers there and you can see how little damage it took from some of those high damage spells. Uh, you can see the building on the right there uh, was destructible. The boss towers will also be able to heal themselves, so you'll have to be able to uh, burst them down quick, and I'll show you a clip of that later. Now, a couple questions that came up is, will you only have one attempt to fly and destroy this base? Actually, it will function as the regular attacks in the game. You will be able to use three dragons, and you will be able to have a teammate join and use a dragon as well. So you'll have uh, up to five dragons, uh, three of your own and two different teammates, to assist in taking down each base. And there will be no restrictions on which dragons uh, or which level or tier the dragons must be in for any of the dungeon tiers. So for example, you can use your maxed out abyssal dragons on every single tier of the base. It'll be easy at first and it will get harder and harder as you go along. I may have this detail wrong, but I think a personal maximum energy or keys is 40 I thought I saw on stream. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong though. And the keys will refill at a rate of one key per hour. You will have the option to spend key packs um, and rubies to refill your keys. So you can pay for the refills and you will be getting these refill packs from rewards throughout um, completing these tiers. And each tier I think rewards one key for defeating that tier. There are level requirements for each tier, unfortunately. Uh, and check my other video. I did upload another video early today with more specific details. Um, and the tier requirements, there's a screenshot there, so you can go check that. But once you complete the tier, you can repeat it and get additional rewards. And the rewards are discussed in the other video as well. So once you get to the as high as you can, or if you can't get any further, you can just keep repeating that highest tier for rewards. Now you're approaching the void and you kind of enter this standoff with this final boss tower. Again, well, I mean, Crisis did a very good job with Ronin and destroyed it very quickly, uh, but it can take a while to take down, and there is a certain limit of how long you can spend attacking the Void before it times out and makes you come back with a second dragon. Now, if you've already passed 70%, it doesn't really matter. The Void actually has several super shots. Some of them will break shields, decrease the damage that you deal like a fire flak, and actually has an aura effect, so once you approach it, you have decreased ammo regeneration. Now, here's an example of the boss tower, how if you don't kill it fast enough or if you don't attack it, then it will start to regenerate health. So that's something to keep in mind. Either you take it out really quick right away or you destroy the surrounding tower so it doesn't have support and then focus on it later. But you really want to take it out in one burst of damage. So I'm not sure why this clip got a little blurry, sorry about that, but this is to show you the limited time you have. You do have a fair amount of time to attack the void, but if you take too long, say you stay in cloak forever, you do time out eventually, and then you'll have a chance to run again with a second dragon. So there it times out, and you're back to the screen, you can select a second dragon and continue. Or if you had support, they would go next. So I'm sorry it was two videos. I wanted to get the information out there as early as possible from the pre-release and I wanted to give an update with this extra gameplay footage and some answers to questions. So go check out the other video from earlier with more details in the description. There's the link and let me know if you have any other questions in the comments.